am super excited to be creating two Bega Palace logos using our smartphone. Part one would be the one that's currently on trend according to 99 Designs, the stretched and continuous lettering kind of a logo. And the second one would be the BP or BP Palace Bega that's going to be on the window using font that looks like food. Join me. To start your design, you're going to search for a blank logo canvas. Then you're going to create a blank canvas. And then you're going to go to the bottom of the page and click on text and add heading text where you're going to be using to write the name of the business. And we're going to make this big and change the font. We're going to be using a wide kind of a font. So we're going to go and search for the I found the nice one that's called 29 Bukra wide. So you're going to go to the bottom of the page and you're going to go to font size. You're going to reduce your font size and make it like a 46 or a 45. And then you're happy with that. So we're going to pick a color. So we are going to click on the text itself and then we're going to go to color and we're going to change the color and make it a nice gold. So what we're trying to do now is to use our E and stretch the E in such a way that we are creating this nice effect. So you're going to put a space bar between the letters so that you are able to add those stretches on your E. So once you've done that, you're going to go on your plus button and you're going to go to your elements. Then you're going to go to your elements and you're going to create a line so we're gonna go and we're gonna find a line on our shape and we're going to make the size of this line the exact size of the e as well as the color so we're gonna change color and make it yellow and then we're gonna zoom in and stretch the line so that it is exactly the size of that e that we want to have stretch so when you want to move elements on your phone you're going to scroll. This is when you use your finger. You're going to scroll in until you find your nudge. And when you click on your nudge, you are able to nudge the, the, the element up and nudge the element down so that it aligns to exactly where you want it to be. So we will nudge it so that it is at the corner of the E so that it doesn't show. And then we nudge it a little bit down. So it is exactly on top of our E and Canva has changed the delete and the duplicate. They've added it on your design itself to help easy when you're designing. When you click on the ellipses, you're able to copy, paste, delete, lock, etc. So we're going to go back to our line and we're going to make the size of the line to be exactly the size of our E. And then we can duplicate that to the rest of the lines on the E. Then you're going to go to the bottom of your menu and click on line style so that you're able to increase the size of the, your E until you get the exact size that you want. Until they are precisely aligned like that. Then I'm absolutely over the moon and I'm happy. My E is stretched the way that I want. And I'm just going to duplicate my burger and I'm going to type the rest of the business's name. Next, I'm going to replace my A with a palace or a castle. What I would do, I would click on my elements and I'm going to search for a castle or a palace. I found this one. I'm going to change the palace's color and I'm going to make that a nice bright red. And then I'm going to add an element of a burger on it so that it shows that it is a burger palace. That's the last thing I would do. I'm going to go back to my elements and I'm going to look for a burger that I could use. I was happy with this one. 
and I'm gonna leave it black it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence and that's it there's my stretched burger 2d palace design that I absolutely think it's gorgeous once you're done you're happy and if you want to get yourself this OTP, I'm going to leave my link on the description below. Then you can order yourself from Amazon. One of these OTPs that helps a lot when you're designing on your phone. But other than that, you're going to go to your share and you're going to download it a transparent background. And then you have it on your phone and you are ready to jump into photo P and convert it to a 3D. Next, you're going to access www.photop.com in order for you to convert your 2D logos to 3D. So you're gonna go to PSD templates if you want to use templates on photo P. However, you could upload your own and download your own and use it on open computer. Then you're gonna click on mockups so that you get to view mockups then you're gonna scroll and move the mockups so that they show so i've been asked to try and use a mockup that is front facing so we for the first logo we're going to be using a front facing so you're gonna scroll down until you find one that is front facing you could always download your own front facing ones from unblast.com or freepeak.com and then use those but this looks front facing to me this one as well so we're going to go with this red and yellow one so you click on it once and then you click again on the link that says photop.com and you wait once the mock-up has loaded you're going to go to the layers these are the three lines over here you click on it once so that it opens the layers then you double click where it says your logo here on the checkered box I am using a Samsung A32, meaning Android phone. So if you're using an iPhone, you need to go find the video that I will link on the description below of how you do the process for an iPhone because it's slightly different. And PhotoP was designed for Android and not iPhone. So you do need to do a couple of tries before it works. You're gonna click on layers again, and then your canvas is open. Then you're gonna go find your 2D logo. So you're gonna click file, open and place, and the phone will go and look for the design. Then you're gonna go to your files, and you would have saved it wherever you would have saved it. So you could always go to your menu, and check on your downloads if you don't immediately see it so there's our designs i'm gonna choose the first one and let's go with the burger stretched logo so you double click on that one so that it loads on photo p once it loads on photo p you then stretch your design and you size it to exactly where you want it to be and align it and you go file save a smart object if you don't see save a smart object you skipped a step so you need to retract and go and see where you skipped a step and once it's saved that smart object you'd see the lines would have been gone then you know that it's converted you click where it says glass 3d logo and you wait and your awesome stretched logo is done and created you will file export as a png or whichever format that you want to send it out as watch out for part two of the beggar palace video which we are uploading tomorrow but it looks like this for now you could watch a tech video that we created for you to learn and grow thanks for joining me today i will see you tomorrow